Rolling? I can't believe he finally agreed to an interview. Yeah. Okay. I've read some of your work, and I can't say that I approve of your approach, giving up trade secrets of our industry. But we're about to release a new project, and I suppose we could use some publicity. Oh, no thanks. Caffeine. Thank you, sir. My uh, subscribers are dying to know more about your new project. I'm a great admirer of your style and art. Ready when you are. The film industry is dead. Television is a virus. Theater, ah, it's collapsed upon itself. But the individual can still entertain themselves independently by viewing their very own unique dreams. I merely provide a gateway, an entranceway, a passage through which they can travel to a higher place, to see better dreams. Seems like an interesting perspective. Would you mind explaining further on that? Have you heard the name Konstantin Melnikov? Um, the architect who built an experimental house with round rooms in the early 20s, a uh, true visionary indeed. Bravo, my dear, you've done your homework. In this exact house, there was a common bedroom he designed for his family, which was a space without a single right angle. It was like a womb, circular. The walls were painted gold to cast creative dreams. This looks stunning, but does it really have an impact on the quality of a dream? Melnikov proposed to rationalize the entire scape of sleep. No details were left unturned, including the correct slope of the floor and chambers, sound, smells, humidity, temperature. This is exactly what I do now. I merely picked up where he left off a hundred years ago I'm continuing his work, but I've greatly sophisticated it. I can provide specific scapes for specific dreams. The production must be really inexpensive. You just lie down on a good bed, close your eyes and relax. Which is the hardest part? No, my dear, that is inaccurate. My clients are requesting dreams of power, love dreams, and the very popular amongst women of Beverly Hills, that golden dream of eternal beauty. 
We build setups which I develop together with the best designers and drapers. Composers create ambient music. Sleeping positions are created together with our medical advisors. Some dreams require lighting schemes and even voiceover narrators. I only collaborate with the finest creatives in Hollywood. Each of them generously compensated. So tonight, you're running a photo shoot for your very first dream menu, a catalog of popular sleeping postures. Mm -hmm. Design dreams have been very popular amongst wealthy people. But recently, your business expanded and became available for common public. Is it a new business model, sir, or something more meaningful? Well, absolutely, it's both. You see, we've learned over these past many years so much about the art and the science of sleep that finally, at last, we're able to share and maybe even possibly reach out and save some damaged souls. Uh, not for free, of course, but affordable. What soul damage are you referring to? Well, well, people are packed, I dare say, inundated with useless information from the outside world. News, social media. Ah. Well, they've, they've totally forgotten how to use their imaginations. Poor show indeed. We, on the other hand, we design environments for home sleeping purposes, for office sleeping positions. Why, you have no idea how popular our tropical power naps are. It enhances fantasies during sleep, and the imagination is being trained on a daily basis. I'm sorry, but all of this is plastic. I mean, rich people living in their own fantasies is a well-known phenomenon, but ordinary people paying for their own dreams? My dear, the quality of visions that we provide requires a professional. Professionals? Professionals? This looks like a scene from a school play and certainly not like your exclusive golden one. This is it? You get what you pay for? Well, that's not the way it works at all. These setups merely trigger your imagination. In that case, people should just stick to their natural dreams. Why use the medium at all? I'm getting back to this question over and over and over again. Natural dreams can never grant a full spectrum of mind-altering experience and absolute happiness. You know, people have looked up to your legacy for years, but in reality, you're nothing but a con artist. And this organization is nothing but a cult. Happiness is being awake and not substituting real worlds with delusions. A human being has to live in reality. of you to bring up reality. I fight reality with every moment of my existence. I provide beauty, bliss, brilliance. You have desires too, no need to hide it. I know how desperately you want to dream, but you can't. You're scared. That's why you're here. Let me relieve you of your burden. It's too heavy for you. Sir. We have to proceed. Here, handle this for me, will you? Will she be back? Hmm. I don't know. 
I hope so. I was surprised she made it this far. <laughs>